Hello everyone, hope you all are having a fantastic day. Let us begin with our today's video. So recently we made a video on a pay after placement program which is conducted by 10x Academy which is the full stack web development program which is an online program basically. So we received a lot of questions in the comment section and I thought why instead of answering all of these questions by myself, why not bring someone on our channel wherein they will be able to share their own experience about 10x Academy and this entire course, uh, rather I would say a bootcamp. So uh, I thought why not bring in someone who is an, rather an alumni uh, from the 10x Academy. So here we have with us Sushita. Uh, hi Sushita, hope you are having hi. a great day. Yeah, I'm having a good day. Thank you. Thank you for yeah. asking. Yeah. Before moving forward, I would uh, I would like if you can uh, tell us about yourself, like what exactly you do and uh, when did you graduate and everything. Okay. Uh, so hi everyone. Uh, my name is Sushita. I'm from Andhra Pradesh. I graduated in 2019. <laughs> And my discipline was chemical engineering. So I was very interested in my core branch and I tried a couple of things uh, related to the branch and like it did not work out in my favor. So mm -hmm. eventually I've considered uh, other options and all. And finally, you know, like I picked my path towards uh, software industry. So uh, I tried uh, front end development on my own for mm -hmm. a couple of uh, days actually. Mm -hmm. Then I found Tenix Academy, which uh, gave a proper path and what I could achieve is properly shown by them. So I've decided joining. I think like that was one of the best decisions I could have ever taken. And currently I'm working as a software developer in Waterfree Technologies. Mm -hmm. And I work in uh, Golang language. I mean, that is one of the fast growing languages. So yeah, yeah right. I have a lot to learn as well. So. Okay. Uh, the second question that we have is how was your journey like from chemical background to an IT background and uh, what was your initial thought about 10x academy? Yeah. Uh, so as I said before like I was really interested in code but a couple of failures in that made me realize I should start considering other options. So that was when I started acquiring knowledge related to data analysts and uh, business analysts and front-end development. But the only thing that really ticked me was the front-end development part. So once I saw such a good opportunity from 10x Academy, I just jumped in. I mean, it was uh, the opinion I had of 10x was like, it was really great. I mean, uh, you don't have to pay before getting an actual result. That is, you know, like getting a job. And then uh, they don't consider if you don't have a sound coding uh, background. Leave being sound, even if you have zero coding experience like me, you can still fit in. And then I also have gap. They don't even consider that. So what more can I ask when they're offering something really great, uh, you know, with all the shortcomings I have, but mm -hmm. they are ready to actually give me a direction and make me achieve something great. So yeah, oh. that was really nice uh, of 10x. And so the next question that we have is, how is the structure and curriculum of this program or this bootcamp? Okay. Is it too hard for someone who is from a non-IT background? What all technologies or tech stack do they teach you in this program? Uh, so the curriculum is really great. Uh, it usually starts at a slow pace because like uh, everyone needs to be on the same page and mm -hmm. it picks up a, a little fast at the end. Mm -hmm. Again, it's to be expected because we are supposed to learn front end and back end and it's not just one of the tech stack. and. It takes time and effort for you to practice. You also have to understand it. So that is kind of expected. And uh, coming to the uh, technologies that we learn, we learn Node.js. Uh, initially, we started with Python. So like the Python, as I was saying, it was kind of very slow. And everyone understood. And after that, they picked up their pace with the other data structures and everything. And uh, after Python, we learned uh, JavaScript with the coding and also for the front end part. Then we had HTML, CSS, React.js and Node.js for the back end at the end. So Node.js was like at the end. So I think like a little more uh, faster it was, but all you need to ha do is uh, give a little more effort and it will be sufficient for you to understand all that is required. Okay. And yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah. Like, you can't expect a person to just spoon feed you and all right. So mm -hmm. you have the learning goes both, uh, goes both ways. So you have to put your effort. Mm -hmm. So the next question is, how are the placement preparation at 10X Academy? Do you get any kind of referrals or like does 10X Academy bring uh, multiple companies for placements? How is the interview preparation and everything like that? Okay. 
so we can actually get uh, referrals from the mentors and specifically uh, the group discussion mentors because like you have more direct contact with your group and your uh, uh, group discussion mentor but also like to track the interviews uh, or the referrals they are giving the companies they work in like, are like really good mngs and you have to be properly equipped with all the knowledge and mm -hmm. so all you have to do is practice a little more and then maybe you could get even better uh, placements wise but if you come uh, are talking about 10x usually they bring in companies they don't uh, give you referrals so all you have to do is wait for them to bring companies but you have to be in a position that you can show your uh, knowledge properly and uh, yeah the placement preparation uh, whenever interview session is done we uh, kind of have a discussion with the uh, mentors and all and we understand what is wrong and what could be said in a better way or what could be improved on what i have to work on so that like it will be very helpful for the further company for further round for the same company so that's about it are uh, talking about the mentors like how are they like uh, uh, you might we have gone to their website and we, we have seen that they are from top iit colleges and they are com working at top mncs product based companies so like how are the live classes and all like how how they, do they teach and uh, like what what about the one to one mentoring sessions doubt solving sessions and everything like that yeah uh, so mentors are really helpful mm -hmm. uh, as i was saying before like you have more direct approach with the group discussion mentor that you have like you kind of have uh, almost a fixed group throughout the boot camp so you have more contact with that mentor and like you can ask for anything and they will help you understand what it is and they will also give you resources to get better understanding of it so yeah uh, it's very good that you have uh, you can utilize uh, you know a direct uh, mentor sessions mm -hmm. which will help you understand things better obviously so coming to the live classes live classes are really great mm -hmm. i mean you can just stop the mentor at a point where you didn't understand and he'll be very patient enough to explain you again till you understand it or till anyone it, it's not just like one time if you ask once twice or thrice they are patient enough to explain so that really helps and yeah, right. uh, we have one on one mentoring sessions and mm -hmm. also uh, mock live session so these both are like really helpful uh, when you are actually sitting in an interview based scenario you'll be like very stressed and like maybe if you are uh, have a capacity to think 100% you'll only perform 50% so all those stressful scenarios are kind of optimized when you have a regular uh, interview kind of scenario and one on one uh, mentoring session is kind of very closely related to that and mock session is like a real scenario only it's just mock but you have everything equipped uh, in a real interview scenario so yeah everything helped me uh, overcome my nervousness and i became more confident i also understand what i need to learn more mm -hmm. so, right yeah. okay so uh, coming back to the main to main point that is what is your advice or rather what would be your suggestion to all the viewers who are watching this video and uh, they want to enroll for this boot camp uh so my advice would be like uh be enthusiastic to learn a new things mm -hmm. and also try to understand the basics before uh, approaching anything only then uh otherwise like what happens is you're just caring about the end result but you're not understanding quirks and details of a particular concept or a particular language and also most importantly don't expect to be spoon uh, spoon fed right. yeah you have to uh, have your own research and learning also utilize the various sessions we have like the gd session one on one mock everything is really important and it will help you achieve uh, the final result which is the proper job that you uh, actually deserve that's yeah, so yeah great uh, thank you so much sushita for telling us uh, making us understand what exactly this bootcamp is all about and uh, how how people from non it background can benefit from this uh, particular online uh, full stack development program that is conducted by uh, 10x academy uh, i hope uh, that all our viewers and all our subscribers all our uh, members of this uh, this edtech community will definitely benefit from this video and yeah. uh, thank you once again for uh, giving us your uh, uh, your time and uh, thank you so much